A very good morning to you from wherever you're watching us. This is Sports This Morning on your award-winning channels, television right here in Lagos. My name is Yemi Adebayo. Uh, well, today uh, it's going to be the last edition of Sports This Morning for the week and for the month. We promise to make this edition uh, a memorable one for you. And of course, um, we'd like to get you involved in all uh, that we're doing. Um, it's the last day of the week. Of the week. Also, uh, last edition of the program for the month. Of course, a lot of issues to discuss uh, in the money spinning world of sports. So, you can get your views, opinion uh, across to us uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, um, and this is how you can do it. Uh, on Facebook, it is channels iPhone Sports. On Twitter, it is at um, channels underscore sports. And of course, you can tweet at my personal handle. Uh, that's at Yemi Adebayo20. We will do our very best on the show this morning to uh, read your tweets and um, read your comments, get your voice heard um, this morning on the show. Okay, uh, before I move any further, before I introduce my partners on the show to you, let's really take the headlines. The story is making the rounds in this part of the world. The man in your picture is now the beautiful bride. Super Ego's defender, Azubike Ogweke, seems to be, um, offers for him seems to be uh, increasing. The latest one uh, is Portuguese uh, legal club as Penafield. Uh, seems to be increasing by the day and um, the uh, Warrior Wolves captain is in hot demand. All of uh, the teams like uh, Watford, Granada and Udinese all in the midst uh, for Azubike Egweke. All right, glory beckons for Eight-time CAF Champions League champions, Hal Hali, um, as they seek to restore Egyptian pride in the CAF Confederations Cup. While the Ivorian club South Sarah Sport will be seeking to win the first continental trophy. All will go down in the first leg of the CAF Confederations Cup uh, final um, this um, weekend. And Pele, that's um, a Brazil football legend. Pele, saying a big thank you to all his fans for your love and support. And he wants them to know that he is all right. Pele uh, has been suffering from uh, health problems of late, the latest one, and urinary infection. But uh, the three time World Cup winner uh, has told his fans that he will be all right. He'll do a lot of traveling in January. Uh, and of course, there's a lot to look forward to from uh, the man. Of course, in Formula One, Formula One bosses uh, plan to scrap uh, the um, controversial double points system. And uh, that will be interesting news to a lot of uh, Formula One fans and the drivers as well. So that's the headlines for you. Uh, the news making the rounds, top stories from this part of the world. Before I go um, any further, let me quickly introduce uh, my partners uh, to you uh, from my immediate right. Um, that's um, Tonte. Uh, Telema. Telema. Okay, forgive me, I always mix it up. Uh, sitting right next to me uh, is Telema Davis uh, and of course uh, is brother Tonte Davis. Guys, let me uh, welcome you to the show this morning. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot to talk about um, uh, in the world of sports, as um, usual. But um, uh, let's go on a break. When we come back, just uh, freshen up, come back. Then we'll go. We'll dive straight into all the issues we have lined up for you. But let's take you to India. Let's allow you um, enjoy football made in India. Let's allow you see what's happening in India as we come back for more on sports this morning.
a lot of familiar faces there. You guys were talking about David James, uh, Andrea Santos, yes. and we're beginning to see more of that. Yeah. Uh, well, I I is the Indian League a league for tired legs, or is it just showbiz, or should we expect um, good football, um, a well-developed league in, in years to come, or is it just the Ras Matas? It's early days. Um, but however, the turnout so far actually shows that it's, encouraging. it's actually here to stay. And they're going yeah. somewhere. They're going somewhere. They, 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 they consider football now as a sport to actually get involved in, a, a, a money-spinning sport, no doubt, because okay. Indians are actually really, as much as they're actually concerned about the sport, they also uh, will be looking at the money side of it as well. Uh -huh. So definitely, as in, it's actually here to stay. And of course, numbers are never the problem for Indians. So <laughs> you can always expect the stadium <laughs> to, uh, to be full. Um, but, but, but let me um, come to you, Tonte, and, and, and let's talk about the Super Eagles. In our opening, we we're talking about um, Azubike Gweke uh, and the offers seems to be coming from left, right, and, and center. And you, you balance that uh, with the news that uh, the NFF president, that's Amadri Pini, saying, look, we're going to be the new team. Yeah. And the essence of this is to make all those older players sit up. How does all of this, looking at it, how, uh, how do you see the future for um, the Super Eagles? Well, to start with, um, you know, I think several years ago when you hear about a Nigerian player who's, who plays yeah, but back home, move yeah, directly, move out of the country. Doesn't go you, to Qatar. And, you're you know, kind of excited to really hear such things. But I'll be honest with you, lately I'm not, I'm not more enthusiastic about such things because I feel it's, it's about time we start having our guys stay. We retain our players back home here and yeah. let them play good football, let them enjoy good welfare packages, and let, let them let them also be involved in developing and sustaining the football league. in Nigeria, especially through the league. All right. That said, um, I, I feel to talk about a new Super Eagles now. I, I don't know if I should say it's it, when we say when we say new. Are we talking about um, in, incorporating? Because right now the Super Eagles, as at prior to this time, as of the last qualifier, we have to say about six players from the who play who um, play oh, their trade home. at home here um, involved in Super Eagles. Now, are we going to see an increase in that number, for example, or are we going to see other new faces who play the trade as outside Nigeria? Coming back as being involved in, in, in the Super Eagles. Okay. For example, we saw Leon, Leon Balogu, for example, at, um, point. as, at a point, he, he had one cap for Nigeria. Are we going to see him more regularly? Is it, you know, things question like that. So, but the question is, is this the most important thing in terms of right developing okay. our football? All right, uh, let me go to tell him. Uh, I mean, looking at all that, he, he's told me that he's not excited with all those news uh, about one player wanted to go, you know. But how about, you know, bringing in fresh players. I think uh, what Tunde is trying to say is that how you do it is what's really important. We actually need new players, but how would you go about that? Do you dismantle the team? Do you bring new, I mean, total overhaul? And some would argue that that would disrupt the balance of the team. I mean, how, how do you do this? Because that seems to be the direction the new NFF board wants to go. In all honesty, since 2012, we've actually not had a team. Okay. Um, so um, to, to, if we actually go with the language from the NFF that to build a new Super Eagles team or to actually offer a new Super Eagles team. Definitely we would actually say yes, we do need a new Super Eagles team. However, the, the direction as to how the um, get to actually achieved is what we're actually um, considering. We cannot totally um, throw the baby with the with the, with water. Back water. We need to actually um, um, refocus you know the whole um, structure of the Super Eagles, the current Super Eagles team look at which player or what players actually are doing, players giving their still all relevant, are still very much relevant. And like Tonte rightly pointed, are we looking to inject more home-based players, more um, players from the domestic league in the um, national team? Then there is, there's a question of, is the, um, this um, new Super Eagles team, is it actually a priority? Because there seems to be so much focus on Super Eagles. We still have the under-17, we still have the under-23, under, we still yeah. have the female teams as well. We need to actually give it equal, equal, equal attention. Equal attention uh, from uh, the can, can I quickly add yeah. to me that, um, you know, when we talk about the Super Eagles team, you know, emphasis seems to be on the, the team, for example. Let's, if we're looking at the Super Eagles, since we're looking at the Super Eagles, the players. Actually, yeah, the players. Now, but there's, there's the other end of the executive board, you know. We, we've seen situations in which, um, Players have been disgruntled about the, um, the treat their treatment, their handling. The, the handling, the in terms of welfare packages, bonus issues. You know, that at the point in time, sometime last year, the, the issue of code of conduct, you know, um, 
came, documentation came out, and, and every player and coaches and also the the board being signatories to 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 it. To, to it. So and, you know, so these are these are also issues, issues to be looked at, which they need to be critically looked at because it also affects the performance and performances of the team. I, however, I, I, I don't. I feel that it shouldn't. You shouldn't be. Yeah, wait, you shouldn't wait until you 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 get your bonus package per se before you now say you want to play very well. But I just feel okay. that it's one way. Or Those are effects. issues. Yeah, that should also should also be considered. Yes. Look that. All right, guys. Let, let's um let's let, let's move on and talk about an interesting development. It, it's it, it doesn't really come as a surprise to most of us because we saw the handwriting uh, on the wall. Kwesi Apia was always going to go, and so on was always going to come. And and for one month, there has always been the talk about. Um, Avram Grant, but it's not other news that Avram Grant is now the coach of the Black Stars of, of Ghana. But linking that to Nigeria and looking at a bigger picture, um, does this uh, look like it might have a bearing on what happens in Nigeria? For instance, if Avram Grant goes to Ghana, it does well. Some people are likely going to start saying, "Give us a, a foreign coach and, and all that." If if he fails. Uh, a lot of people say, you see, that's what happens. Only local coaches understand <laughs> national teams. So, so let me start with Telma. All of this is a delicate balance, really. You can think that what is happening in Ghana doesn't affect us. But before you know, something, something good happens in, in Ghana. Uh, you know, so some people start pointing to in that direction. And, you know, if it backfires, a lot of... A lot of uh, but should whatever happens in Ghana affect us? Well, in, in honesty, football, football across the world yeah. um, has a structural, functional... Um, operation yep. in the sense that one one system does relate to another system yes indeed as in whichever what they are giving the decision the Ghanaians have actually taken in appointing Abraham Grant definitely we're going to see a relation of that to sure. Nigeria here in Nigeria because the power to now um, with the whole um, Stephen Keshi um, Hula Balu concerning the um, um, contract and all that we have we are we are getting information to the fact that a foreign coach was going to be appointed for the super, for the national team. Now that has been um, thrown out of them. Um, thrown um, out or put aside? I, I work or has cooled off? Well, okay, we we will we, we'll go up. We we'll go. We we'll rather go with them. Is it, is it cooled off for now? Yeah. You know. Um, but then we really know that Avram Grant's appointment definitely will have an impact directly or indirectly on the what national happens, yeah. decision decision fund because, like I said. If Keshi stays and if and, and does not do perform up to the standard which is going to be put forward to him, and Avram Grant actually goes on, for instance, to actually win next year's Nations Cup in Equatorial Guinea, then definitely we're going to have a lot to actually chew on.